Hey, what's up, All Exit Strategy? So today I got the update, actually I had it for a few days, but I finally got the 2024.3.25 update for my Tesla Model S. And this one includes the FSD version 12.3.6, as well as, this is kind of a surprise, is a app, um, Tesla Vision Park Assist. I almost said Apple Vision Pro, but Tesla Vision Park Assist. So it's the, uh, instead of using the ultrasonic sensor, now it's all pure of vision, so it's able to do the high fidelity visualization, 3D objects around you while you're going at low speed in parking lots and all that stuff. And so we're gonna take a look at that and also an update to Auto Park, uh, which now lets you select multiple or, you know, multiple slots available for parking as you drive in the parking lot. So we'll take a look at those two. We are also going to, I'm gonna to try to uh, do the comparison between the auto park, the new auto park, and not the auto park, but compare that one, compare the new auto park to uh, me parking manually. Yep, so yeah, ready? Let's take a look. Let's start off looking at the parking visualization. <laughs> this is the standard mode using the ultrasonic sensors. All the cars are model cars, and as you can see, as you get closer to the object, it tells you the precise distance between the car and the object. And it beeps at you to stop when you get super close. Now, this is the new Tesla Vision Park Assist using all the cameras to create a high fidelity 3D representation of the areas. Cars and objects are now represented by a real-time 3D render showing the shapes of the actual objects. And it now doesn't tell you the exact distance in numbers, but it just highlights in color as you get closer. And it still beeps at you if you get super, super close. Now let's see the differences one more time. This is the old style and this is the new style. Now let's get to the auto park. You can use the right school wheel to select the parking spot and press on it to start. And I just press on it to start and the car is just moving forward slowly and changes gear to reverse and reverse back into the spot again very slowly even though it's pretty slow it actually does a very good job parking it is right in the middle of the spot now let's see if i can beat the computer i'm at the exact same spot i'm gonna put it in reverse not going to go forward because we have plenty of space and I'm just backing into the spot. Although I thought it would be a lot faster but it looks also pretty slow and a little bit crooked. But anyways I got the job done I'm in the spot almost as center. Next on to parallel parking I found a spot press the scroll wheel it's about to start and then it says odd park cancelled. And this has happened a couple of times now in the past couple of days and it's pretty annoying when it happens. But anyways, I try again and it started parallel parking. It actually does it pretty quickly. I couldn't see the front of the car so I was afraid it was going to hit the car in front of me but luckily it didn't. Anyways, it did a pretty good job parking and not super slow. Let's go see how it did. So pretty straight, not super close to the curve, but pretty much in line with other cars. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's see if I can beat Auto Park. So I just put in reverse and back into the spot. I must say, even though this was a pretty big parking spot, and I've done a lot of parallel parking in a much tighter spot than this, but I was still nervous. I think it was because of like all the beeps and the message telling me to stop, even though there was still a lot of room in the back and on the side. So I just took an extra turn just to make sure I didn't scratch anything and uh, park. So it took a little bit long to park, maybe slightly longer than the auto park. But hey, I didn't do too bad even though it was not completely straight. So I would say Auto Park did a slightly better job than I did. So what do you think of the new Tesla Vision Parking Assist using the cameras instead of all the ultrasonic sensors? Um, personally, I think 
I kind of like both. Um, so I like the 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 Tesla Vision, that 3D representation, because you see more. Especially you see the line, like the parking lines on the ground. That's just so helpful when you park. Um, but the thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't. It now doesn't tell you like the number, like the how many inches or whatever from the object. Uh, which I thought was pretty useful with the ultrasonic sensor. So maybe with the camera, you know, image processing, you can't get that accurate um, measurement. So yeah, there's a trade-off. I uh, will probably keep it on unless I really need that numbers in some scenarios I can switch back and forth. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll keep on the uh, the Tesla Vision. As far as the auto park, uh, what do you think? I personally think it is pretty good it's still very slow especially in simple scenario like you know backing into um, a parking spot like perpendicular parking so in that case or most cases like that it's much faster to just do it yourself you know but in parallel parking I think it did pretty good um, so I think it may have been faster than I was trying to parallel park just because I'm afraid I'm gonna hit the curve or hit the, the car in front of me but all in all I think it's pretty useful in parallel parking I'll probably use it sometimes but I a lot of time I'm probably just gonna park myself but in a regular parking you know like back in par perpendicular parking I'm just gonna park myself but anyways I hope this video is helpful uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.